Welcome. Today we are going to be talking about how to be happier right now. Now, before we dive into it, once again, as always, if you like this, hit that subscribe button down below so you can get all of my videos because I put out videos every Tuesday and Thursday as well. And when we're talking about how to be happier, you have to first ask yourself the very obvious question, why am I not happy, right? Why am I, if I'm not happy, why am I not happy right now? And why is it so hard sometimes to be happy as a human being? Well, because first off, you have to realize the human brain is naturally negative, right? We're screwed up from the start. We have to reprogram ourselves in certain ways. And people are like, well, why is the human brain negative? Well, because we need to consciously remember the negative things because that is a mechanism that kept us alive for millions of years. So for instance, 100,000 years ago, if you're walking through the forest with your buddy, your buddy eats some berries and your buddy dies. You need to remember and think of that negative thing as often as possible so that you never eat the same berries that your buddy ate that killed him. So we're all naturally negative, but that does not mean that we can't learn to be positive, right? It's a natural part of our brain to be negative, to think about those things, but we have to work to be positive. That's what you really have to think about. So also if you think about society, a lot of people do things that they don't want to do because of the fact that they want to fit in with society. They go to college because they feel like they're supposed to or because their parents tell them to or they get a job that they don't want to get because it pays higher and they want to be able to keep with the Joneses or they buy a car which puts them into more debt. All of these things happen. So naturally when you're in society too, society can make you more negative. And if you look at social media, social media, it seems like there's always someone who has more than you. There's always someone who's better looking than you or happier than you or traveling to more places than you. So naturally you're coming from a place of, I don't have enough, right? And it's very easy to not be happy if you don't pay attention to these things. And so that's why you're not happy. So let's talk about how to be happy because that's the important thing to think about. And it comes in a series of questions. Okay, this is the way I like to think of anything. If there's something that's pressing in my mind, something that's really holding me back, I like to ask myself questions and make myself journal it, write it down with a pen and paper. I write down the question and I force myself to answer it and I work through myself as if I am my own psychologist. And so if I'm not happy, the first question that I would ask myself is what do I want? Right? Not what does society want, not what does my spouse want, not what do my parents want, not what does everybody else want. What do I want? And you ask yourself that question. It's a very vague question, but you're going to get answers in certain things that you didn't think about. And if you want to get more direct, you then ask yourself, what do I want in my business? What do I want in my relationship? What do I want in my finances? What do I want in my friendships? What do I want in my bank account? And you figure out not what everybody else wants, but what you want. Because a lot of times people are not happy because they're doing what they feel like they're supposed to do. They're doing what they feel like they've been told they're supposed to be doing their entire lives. Lots of people are living their lives just like robots. They're not in control. It's this outside force. They're just doing what they feel is the right thing to do. Right? So that's the first question and then series of questions that stem from that. The next question is what do I want to be? What do I want to be? Do I want to be happy? Do I want to be doing something else? Do I want to be in a different career? Do I want to be rich? Do I want to be famous? Do I just want to be filled with joy? Do I want to be peaceful? What do I want and what do I want to be? Okay? The next question is what makes me happy? These are simple questions, right? But sometimes you're going to sit down with a pen and paper and be like, I don't even know what makes me happy anymore, right? Some people feel that way. What makes me happy? And make a list of all of the things that make you happy, right? Playing with your dog could be in there, right? I love playing with my dog every single day. That makes me happy. Maybe I should do more of it. Right? What else makes me happy? Being out in nature makes me happy. Playing basketball makes me happy. Like there's a million things we could put down. Listening to music makes me happy. And I make this massive list of all of these things that make me happy. And then what you do 
is what we call engineer happiness. One of my friends made this phrase up. He said that he will not allow his depression or his happiness to be left up to chance. And so he's going to be in control of it. He's going to engineer happiness into his life. So you look at this, you look at what, what do I want? What do I want to be? And what makes me happy? And every single morning you wake up a few minutes before you're supposed to and over a cup of coffee, you look at the things that make you happy. You look at what you want and you look at what you want to be and you try to put as many of those things into your day. Not into your week, not into your month, but today. Can I put a couple extra things in there? And it reminds you of what makes you happy. And you're like, man, I freaking, I forgot. I do love playing with my dog. I'm going to go ahead and decide to take him for a walk today, right? And it's just little things. But if you put a bunch of, just sprinkle a bunch of little tiny things that you love that make you happy that seem kind of crazy, and you just do more of it, what you'll start noticing is because of the fact that you're engineering your happiness, you're going to get to the end of the day and go, damn, today was actually a really good day. Today was better than yesterday was. And the only reason why is because you're sprinkling happiness throughout your entire day. You're engineering your happiness. You're putting all of these things into it. You're planning your actual happiness. You're doing what you want to do, not what you feel like you're supposed to do or what you've been told to do or what society tells you to do, all of those things. It is up to you. Your happiness is up to you. So that's the first thing that you need to do. You need to engineer happiness. And the second thing that you need to do is if you notice yourself going for sadness, if you feel like you're not happy, like you're not fulfilled, like there's just something missing, you start with gratitude, right? You ask yourself, you notice this feeling of, I'm not as happy as I could be right now. So you sit back and you say, okay, what can I be grateful for right now in this moment? What can I be grateful for, right? Food, water, shelter, clothing, a few people that love me, right? If you feel like you have absolutely nothing to be grateful for in this moment, right? If you're listening to this, you have some way of having a phone and so enough money to pay for the service or internet, you're blessed enough to have that. But if nothing else, you have two things. You have your breath, right? As long as you have your breath, you're going to be alive and you have your heartbeat, right? There's a lot of people that did not wake up today. You did. So if you, have, if you don't have food, water, shelter, clothing, if there's nobody in your life that loves you or that you can say, want to hang out with you, if you hate your job, if you hate everything about the world and you're like, what the hell can I be grateful for? You can be grateful for the fact that you have your heartbeat still, which means that there's still time for you to turn it around and for you to make your life what you want it to be. You still have breath that's clean enough to keep you alive. There's still a chance. You can't give up at this point in time, right? You could still have a chance to turn this around. So if you have nothing else, you still have that. So engineer your happiness and start with gratitude and you will start to notice that every single day will start to get just a little bit better. Engineer your happiness every single morning. Sprinkle as much happiness as you possibly can and start with gratitude and you'll start noticing all of your days changing. So if you like this video, do me a favor, Right here, there's a subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right here. I put out videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays. You don't ever want to miss another one. Also, like. If you have any questions, comment down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I look at all of the comments. And if you want to see some more free coaching, if you want to see some of the other stuff that I do, go to my website. My website is also down below. But I can't wait to put out another episode for you guys, and I appreciate you for being here.